This is Juliet Sims, and I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. It's been, like we mentioned, about five, five years. years. How yes. are you? Good. How are you, Rob? I'm doing great. Congratulations. New signing with Samarian Thank Records. Thank you very much. What does that mean to you? I mean, now it's your time to do what you want with your music, but what does signing to Samarian mean to you? Well, it means that I get to create the music that I've been wanting to create my whole life, which is rock music, and um, I have a great... Uh, you know, great team behind me. Right. You know, I really admire uh, the the you know what Ash and Samarian what they've built and what they've done to, in the music scene, and I couldn't be more excited to be a part of that. <laughs> well, congratulations once again with that. You just released the debut single for Samarian, which yes. was "Bad Love." Yep. Um, talk to me about going into the studio with Scott Stevens to create this track. So Scott and I have been working together since last October, November. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we've written a plethora of, of songs, but creating Bad Love was, uh, it was really fun. We went to Nashville and did some writing there. And I remember it was actually Andy and I's anniversary, um, the day that I wrote Bad Love. Wow. And um, I really wanted to showcase, I wanted to write about the side of true love that people don't really talk about mm -hmm. that much, which is like, true love isn't always rainbows, butterflies. Right. You know, floating. It's real sometimes. It's, it gets really, <laughs> really real and dark, and um, can be very difficult and hard. And I wanted to write about that side of true love. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the fact that you kind of wrote something like that, did, do you feel like it was easier for you to open up to your fans because it's more personal for you, or did you feel like you kind of struggled to open up? Um, I've always been pretty honest with my lyrics mm -hmm. and um, with whatever I'm going through in my life at the moment, or you know, struggles of mine or things that I've, you know, faced and conquered or didn't conquer. You know, I've been pretty real with, you know, I, I, I only write from a real place. Yeah. I don't know how to write from a, I don't know how to write fake lyrics. Artificial, yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so, no, I find it to be easier to, to be honest and to open up and to, to speak from the heart. Talk to me about this collaboration now with Scott Stevens. Like, how different is he as a producer? As, a, as I don't know if he collaborated with you with the songwriting as well, but like, yes, what was that chemistry like between the two of you? Um, well, it was instantaneous. I mean, the moment I went, the first day that I went into the studio with him to see what we could make, yeah. within, so he had me actually send him like a bunch of just voice memos yeah. that I had just just ID because I in my phone I. Every day I'll record either a lyric or a melody that I hear or a chord progression or whatever it is. And so he, before I went to his house, had me send him just a shit ton of voice memos. And I was like, okay. And I came in and he was like, I went through all your demos or all your voice memos, which was like a hundred. I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. And he's like, I really liked this melody that you came up with. And he sat down at the piano and he started playing the piano and was singing the melody that I had come up with. And it was stunning it was stunning and I and right then in that first five minutes I was like this is my producer he, he fucking gets me he fully under he understands where I come from what I've been through the kind of music I want to make he understands my voice yeah. where it sits best what kind of music um, needs to be surrounding my voice and he's in the most organic way has truly hatched a brand new Juliet yeah. sound. Where did you find this guy? Because I mean, I've never heard the name before. And then I looked at his like credits and I was like, holy shit, yeah, like he's, he's worked with a lot of people, yeah. but like I've never heard of him until now. Yeah, so Scott's actually done, um, he's done a lot with Black Veil and Andy, okay. uh, but we worked together one time in 2012. We did a song together and um, I remember having, I mean, we had, I had the best time with him. Mm -hmm. He made my voice, my vocals sound amazing. The song was produced beautifully and I really enjoyed working with him. Yeah. And <clears throat> when it came time to start the process of finding, you know, people to work with, producers, whatever it was, I, I and I loved what he's done with Andy and Blackville and all that. And I asked Andy, I was like, I wonder if Scott would be interested in just trying it out, right. doing a song together seeing if the if we gel seeing if the if we can make magic and we just hit him up he said yeah let's let's give it a shot and that's how it, it unfolded that's cool. now that you find someone that gets you completely like how do you challenge yourself in the studio when you're i know you're working on an album right now yeah. so you know how do you step it up for yourself 
Well, um, we we have we have you know a, a formula down now. I go home after the studio. I go home and I'll sit in my in my room with my guitar and I'll come up with you know a concept or a melody or an idea that I can take to the studio the next day, yeah. and then. Scott, being the producer and the songwriter he is, will sit with me and will work on that piece of music or whatever I came up with the night before. And um, it's been a very different process from past, you know, past records and, and, and all that in that I'm, he is putting me at the helm. He's saying, I want you to come up with the concept, the song title the lyrics, the idea, the melody, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to help blossom it. Because this, everything has to come from you. Right, Otherwise, it's not going to be believable and be, it's not going to connect with people. You know what I mean? If it's just like, we're in like a science lab, like <laughs> put some of this in there, and you know, it has to come from me. And so I really am excited about doing a record this way because I feel like it's like truly my, you know, it's my baby. baby. Yeah. yeah. So who is Juliet on this album? Like, who? How do you feel you're expressing yourself to your audience this time around? Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, I say that I, I write very honest lyrics, and but this is like, this is real, real shit. You know, especially in this industry, being a woman. Um, and being somebody who's struggled with, you know, alcohol and stuff in, in the past and been through some really, really dark shit, I feel like it's kind of, you know, a little bit my, it's like my duty to, to say, this is what I did, this is what I went through, this is how I got out of it, and this is how I'm stronger because of it. You know what I mean? I, I've always been a huge advocate in wanting to help people with my music, and if that means I have to, like, lay all my shit on, on the table and go, look at this is me, this is who I am, yeah. and I'm stronger because of it, then I'm gonna do that. And so there's a lot of that in this record. There's a lot of truth, a lot of honesty, um, and a lot of just still standing, you know? How are you challenging your vocals this time around? Oh, gosh. Um, well, um, I, you know, I've, I've been practicing, uh, I've been really honing my craft with, with my vocals and, you know, doing lessons every week and singing for hours every day and really trying to expand my range and um, it's I mean vocally I think I'm in the best place that I've ever been yeah. and so um, there's a lot of a lot of rock a lot of soul a lot of blues a lot of you know just my gravel clean high notes low notes <laughs> <Got it> all. <laughs> all of it <laughs> so can fans expect something like another song or, or maybe info on this album anytime soon or is that something you're still in the studio kind yes, of figuring out? I can't out? expect another song. Nice. Yes, I don't, I, I, the release date will be unveiled very soon, nice. but there is a second single coming uh, so soon. <laughs> so very soon, I'm so excited. I've been working on the cover art um, on the tour. We actually shot the cover while we were on oh, tour. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we are shooting the music video for it right after the tour nice. and then it will be coming out pretty quickly. <laughs> so talk to me about collaborating with Patrick. He's a longtime friend. Yes. Um, so he, he got to do this video for Bad Love as well. Yeah. Like how, you know, what's his chemistry like when you guys are working together? Well, Pat is, yes, he's a very dear friend. He's like my brother at this point. I've known yeah. him for a very, very long time. Um, working with Pat is like working with one person that can also do the job of five people. Yeah. I've never... I've never met anybody like Pat. Like Pat's our our person that if we're like, hey, we need to build this spaceship, we go. he's like, I'm on my way. I know how to build a spaceship. Um, you know, there's nothing that he can't accomplish on his own. And or, or or like if I'm like, this is what I want to see happen, he's like, okay, and he figures it out. Yeah. He's like a problem solver. And um, so working with Pat is like, not only do I not feel, um, you know because he's like family. I don't feel, when you're performing and stuff like that, you know, you, you, you can tend to feel introverted or you can tend to feel like shy at times or whatever it is, but because I'm so comfortable with him, I don't feel like he's, there's no judgment, there's no, he's just, everything is su make, making sure I look very beautiful and I'm comfortable and, and yeah, it's just working with him, I feel like whatever idea I'm 
have in my head he's going to be able to help create. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, congratulations with the new single, the Thank new you. signing. For those fans out there that are dying to know, plans for a tour anytime soon? Um, if I have my plan of what I want to have happen, um, and I've communicated this to the label, and they love the idea. So what I would like to see happen is I get home, shoot the video for the next single, put the single out, all while being in the studio, getting you know some more some more songs recorded, and, and trying to wrap that up. I'd love to hop on a tour in the fall, yeah. do a tour in the fall, come home in the winter, finish the record, and then top of the year go back out on the road again. That's what I would love to see happen. And things I want to have it'll happen, ha it'll, it'll, it I make happen. Maybe now it'll happen. You're in, you're in full control, so. <laughs> well, somewhat. <laughs> There's a lot. I believe in you. you thank got you. This. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you so much for reuniting with me. We got to get back together again soon. Yes. You guys be sure to check out Juliet Sims' new single, Bad Love. It's out now. Thanks for watching on Front Row Live.